All right, guys, welcome to part two of the uh, Justice League Snyder Cut reaction. Not much to say. Uh, let's just get back into it here. I like how, ironically enough, man is the one who <laughs> saves the mother box. The empty life equation. The key to controlling all life and all will throughout the multiverse. That's what he saw in the vision. I have seen it. So it's like the anti-life equation? Yeah, that's the thing that was carved in the- Oh! Oh! Can it be true that you have found it? I have, great one. I have turned 100,000 worlds to dust, looking for anti-life, looking for those who brought me of my glory. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's cool. Put him on the box. Turn a smoke right into a house. And that makes sense. Of course, it's not just like an evil bad guy weapon. Are there any, like. What? Repercussions of trying. You know, it's always. Yeah? Like, of course. I'm always worried about that. What the fuck? Wait, what? What the hell? The box brought Victor back. Victor wasn't dead. Life is either one or Was he always? Okay, so I know that that hero, I didn't know he was always fucking that guy. I'm assuming that's some sort okay, of. Okay, like, so that's like curious. Martian Manhunter. He's like an alien and he's a shapeshifter. But what the fuck was that? Was he always that guy? That's what? crazy. What the hell? But a year ago, Superman was still alive. Did he call out to step more? None of the boxes did. Not until, Not until Superman died. Yeah. Until Superman. Well, that's true. Like I feel like the. Yeah, the ring and the bell was the death of Superman. Yeah. Honestly, if I were them though, I would I would make that the last the last <laughs> line. <laughs> All the king's horses. Holy shit, dude. Stop playing with this little box of tricks. I mean, it could be the end of everything. How do you know your team's strong enough? Do it is this red cape. This red cape charges back. Through <laughs> Dude, the freaking minor Superman theme. That was a cool moment between Alfred. I like how Alfred is the like he checks Batman. Yeah, yeah. Just to be on the safe side. I did. I did. I, I, what the? <laughs> Get him in. How is there a wait time? You're a supercomputer. Come on, bro. I wonder if that electron laser is gonna play a bigger part. Maybe, because they keep going back to Yeah, you. right? Don't just get out of there, bro. Come on. Uh, Don't work against him. Oh, he's gonna be in there, dude. He's not gonna leave. Oh, 
That is so sick. the dad was in danger but then I just realized they're just coming in there to try to revive Superman right yeah everybody's for that okay we're good it always comes back here man it is kind of like the start I like that though I like how it's like everything kind of goes back to the Kryptonians and Superman and it's cool <laughs> yeah not come on Lois Superman is Yeah, but you have to distract yourself, right? Like, I mean, look, I, I've never had anybody die, but, like, if you ever go through a breakup or anything, like, you have to keep moving. That is the trick. That's true. I mean, you know, when a relative does die, it you can't, like, the world doesn't stop. And so you can't. Yeah. It's not like you forget about them. You You remember them, but you can't let it destroy your life. <laughs> That's cool. You can hack the USB. The ship says the mother box is hostile. I can override the security protocols, but there's no time to repair all the electrical damage that Luther's power surges caused to the primary capacitors. English. There's not enough charge to wake the box. <laughs> Freaking Dark Side's lasers? Go? Oh no, dude! Dude, that's the reality! Like the apocalypse thing! What? Show the berry. The time stuff, right? But he's still gonna activate it with the charge. Oh. Boom. Uh, somebody protect it. Oh no! Dude, this is June! Dude, this isn't good! Oh! You're fucked, dude. Dude, he can keep up. Ooh. 
can't beat him physically because he's fucking yeah. Superman. Holy, this is sick. This is all new. Dude. Oh, no, shit. No, dude. No, no, no. no. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, shoot. No. Oh. Because he's not bad. I feel like he was just confused. No, of course. It's like he doesn't remember who he is and stuff, you know? Like, Wasn't that a sick fight? That was. Like, the first half of that was in the original, but the second half... <laughs> I knew he was going to be pissed. I'm going to say. So sorry. Oh, no way. You took it. Oh, no. This dude's always finding himself in danger. <sighs> what is he trying to do? I don't know. He's trying something. He is. <gasps> the laser! Oh! Hurry! Oh. Is he gonna like blow it up? Yo! Oh. It like reflected all the lasers. Did it not even work? What? What the fuck? No! But it's. Wait, but they said it would like superheat the inside. He freaking died for nothing. Sacrifice himself. That's so fucking cool. But he cool. thought ahead, like something darker. No, we don't. No, no. <laughs> we don't want any more dark. Nice, <laughs> Superman's back. Please give us some light. Let him talk to his mom too. Henry Cavill is so jacked he doesn't even need superpowers to be a superhero. True. <laughs> Freaking, he's so huge. <laughs> it's so fitting that it's back in the farm. Oh shit, dude. That's cool. Where it started off all simple. You can't blow it up. Not from the outside. I wanna plug into the unit. I don't know why. Fuse with that. We can spot from the inside so we can break. 
something to destroy you. Just get me in and give me time. You could die, Victor. If I don't, we all die. Period. True. It's as simple as that. I got nothing left. You want me to use these gifts, right? That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so... If Victor wants to try to save the world by fusing with the Doom Boxes, I, I said we put him in the Doom Boxes. But getting him in means attacking that base. Fighting the devil in his army. You know, I mean, this, this guy's probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets he's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. <laughs> True. And listen here, Dark Side. Like, he got beat by the Earth yeah. too, so. Yeah. Cornfields and a flannel shirt. <laughs> the American dream. Take that as a yes. What? The ring. <laughs> You're in the back. I get in his suit. And Let's kick some butt. <laughs> Dude, what would you even think? Like, what? It's insane if you saw your son. That's freaking wild. What the? I think I'm hallucinating. I'd go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Also, boy. very brave of those two to yeah. let him go again. Again, right? it's like yeah. lost away. Lost away. You need to see this. Oh, he made it fly. Oh, that's sick. I was wondering whose ship that was. Now he's got some some roided out Batman armor on. What if it does another time travel thing, dude? Why? Because he's going so far. Yes. Because I know if you go really fast, time. Look, they gave us clues for a reason. Lois is the key, and there's a reason they showed the time reversing. There has to be a reason. Both of his fathers. Oh, that's so sick. And the theme. All the hopes and dreams of crypto. Living in them. I'm so proud of you, son. <laughs> Freaking black suit, the Superman. Yo, again. Dude! <laughs> oh my awesome. gosh! That was so badass! Holy fuck! Let me just recharge real quick. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the idol's not the same, actually. Ooh. There it goes. Yo! Y'all don't stand a chance against Batman. Well, smooth landing. He's got another vehicle there. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, yes. damn. Nice. <laughs> oh, did you run that one over? He's basically flying at this point. He's freaking surfing on the demon. <laughs> Yo. Yo, he had an eject? <laughs> They're still shooting him. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh shit. He's got the frickin' cannon. Yo. Still got the last boss. Oh, at least. <laughs> Unless Dark Side comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how each of their thieves like kind of. I like how she has like a new theme, kind of. Why did you abandon your own sisters? Oh, nice. Shh, dude, that was sick. Dude, he's gonna go back in time, dude. No, he's gonna go forward. You think? <laughs> He might go forward because that's like the way he's running is oh, kind of like true. the uh, the large uh, hadron collider, which actually slows down time. Like actually, Shoot. holy, Ooh. that's sick! Oh damn, they can both jump up. Oh, she's oh got nice! Him. Let's go! Oh, dude! Oh, it's the demon thing. Yeah, oh, crap! Oh. Dude. He doesn't run into that. Oh! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo! Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, he's got him. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. Combo. Woo. Take him to space, bro. Or the opposite. Oh, oh, oh. oh dude, he cut his horn off. Go. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh no! Wait, dude, is it who's Dark that? Side? Wait, who is that? Back there, do you see it's, that? It's Cyborg. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh, it's gonna synchronize. Oh, fuck. Dude! <laughs> Hell yeah, he was! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right, Dark Side. And they sent him right Fuck back, it. dude. Suck it. Wait, so they're just gonna attack? So I'm assuming so. See, he's cool now because he's in all black. <laughs> oh. You gotta love it, dude. Big round table. Six chips. Right there. Freaking tag. Hell yeah, baby. Back in Clark guy. Kent. Yeah. Oh, let's go. There's no way this is just how it's gonna frickin' end. Yo! <laughs> oh, dude. I'm assuming Autumn is the name of his... Yeah, his daughter. Right. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to digest. That was a, that was a lot at the end. I know. Like, I was what? like, wait, what the fuck? And what? And what? And what? <laughs> okay. Well, let's just look at the movie. Okay. Like the epilogue, I feel like was very duly named an epilogue. The movie. What did you think? 
because you don't know anything. You haven't seen the original Justice League, so just sitting here, four hours, thoughts. It was kind of like it's a mini series almost. You know, it, since it was longer than a movie, it really felt like I went through a season one of something. Yeah, and I really got to know the characters like in depth more so than you know normal movies. Yeah, and it just it felt like a very good like hero movie. You know, a very solid, just overall good hero movie, and but. It, also went into kind of like each character not being you know he, they're they're human almost, yeah right yeah i mean Even that's if, almost all the first half is just yeah individual characters and it's cool to see all those different types of people able to kind of unite for one goal even if they have very different you know yeah mindsets and things and so I, I really like seeing that, you know, normally, you know, you'll have, you know, separate characters and they each kind of, you know, are, they're a little bit different personality wise. But in the end, they're all kind of the same as far as like goals and things like that, whatever, you know, like let's say if it is a hero movie, they're all kind of like heroes. Yeah, and a little bit they were like this, but I feel like in this movie, they were but, almost all broken, which yeah, I really liked. They all had like weaknesses, you know, and yeah. they really had their issues, but... You know, of course, in the end, they do come together. But it's cool to see that sort of, like, side to it. It makes them feel a lot more, like, grounded, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's interesting, too, because we you don't, you're not as familiar with superhero movies, which is why we're oh, watching all these know. movies. But, you know, with Marvel and different things like that, like, the cinematic universe is, like, the move is to be like, all right, everybody has their own movie. And then you have this big Avengers movie with all of them together, whereas... Mm-hmm. And it's kind of just focused on like, oh, the group is together. Whereas this movie almost was more about them individually than the group itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I really liked. Like the group came together in the end end. But I liked how like for the better half of the movie, it was like, all right, you had Batman and Wonder Woman and then everyone else doing their own thing kind of. And I liked that. I thought it was like, dude, compared to the other version, like Cyborg sucked. Cyborg was trash in the other version. Well, because there was no time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as well, I'm sure you true, can tell, like, there was zero yeah. time. Like he was just there, and he like said a few things monotone, and it's like I think this version is a million times better because it adds, like he was almost more of a main character than anyone else. Like I feel like he had the best, the biggest arc in this movie. He did. You he, know, like he changed the most. Like Batman got everybody together, and that was cool. And Superman came back, and the Flash. I feel like, you know, became more competent. But of all the people, as far as like a, a character character arc was cyborg that's true yeah and i think it was necessary too i do too um both cyborg and the flash get you know at least most of the sort of like development just because we haven't seen them as much you know yeah i agree um aquaman was a little less than both of them but he still you could still feel that sort of there was one moment they did with aquaman that was so good where he had like when he asked how victor was doing and this was totally me putting on like association but i i feel like there was some sort of tie of like well my mom's dead and your dad died yeah i don't know like there's just a little bit of unspoken he he felt like a really down-to-earth sort of dude you know who just like i mean i just want to do my own thing you know stop messing with me you know yeah like, you know, all these complicated responsibilities. Like, screw that. I, I want a drink, you know. I'll save you if I can see you. And so, like, it, he, it became very, like, you know, he sees a kid, lost his dad, and he's getting mixed up in this whole, like, you know, complicated world thing. And he's just like, hey, you know, is that, is he good, you know? Yeah, yeah. Whereas everyone else is a little more, you know, they got bigger things that they're thinking about or whatever, you know? Yeah. I like that. I like seeing that. And, he, you know, of course, a few things here and there he'd say and, you know, like, get that, you know, connection with him. It's yeah, cool. Dude. And I mean, the freaking fight with the Amazons. Like, that, that was being, really cool. Like, even compared to the original version, that being the first fight that you see in the movie is so perfect. It is like, beautiful. Oh, yes. fuck. This is what we're in for. Like, this is the kind of movie that we're in for. Yeah. And it was rated R and it made, it immediately made Steppenwolf feel like a threat. Yes. Like definitely. a serious yes. threat. And I feel like, you know, maybe this is me putting this on, but I feel like also, you know, 
looking at the previous version and how unthreatening the previous version, I feel like that's kind of Zack Snyder's way of being like, okay, this is a different Steppenwolf. This is a different movie. We're going to hit you with it. Here's right why. Away. And it was like, okay, I agree. I totally yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was one of the best action set pieces in the movie. Still, it, I think. It was, yes. Like, the com- the complexity of, like, some of their stuff that they were doing, you know? But the- it wasn't, like, just complex to be complex. It was like they were doing things that had a purpose, yeah, but it dude. was cool, you know? And it was intense. It was awesome. And just the the way that they, like, sacrificed themselves, like, without question, right? Like you were yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's so cool. And it also shows the seriousness or the gravity of the situation, you know? It was sick, dude. It, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah. I really liked what they did with, with even Steppenwolf's character. Like, just those little hints of, like... Him, like, really, really, really trying to do anything to get the approval of Darkseid. Yeah. And just, like, little hints at, like, a little more history. And I think they, you know, they they maybe a little blatantly teased us with Darkseid. But I was okay. I was okay with that. Like, I was like, I don't care. He's dope. I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, I know you're just teasing us. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, because he didn't, you know. I mean, they got to, like, set up the big bad, you know? Like, yeah. Dude, I would kill... I don't know if he's making another movie. Oh, really? No. There's a good chance really he's not. It really felt like that. You well, know? I mean, originally that was the plan. Uh, but, yeah. you know, all things considered now, who knows? Hmm. I would I would love to see his sequel, especially with that whole dark alternate reality. Yeah, like what was it's, that? I think it's roughly based off of one of the few comics I've ever read. In my entire life, which is the Injustice Gods Among Us comics, and essentially is Joker kills Lois and Superman loses it. And it's just like uh, all of the fallout and God complex and, you know, all the hero villain alliances that you've ever seen. Our lines are completely blurred. Everybody's just like, oh, shit, like there's like a resistance. And then there's like Superman and his like Gestapo-esque army. I... I mean, look, I don't know how much his plan was ever to even follow that, but I mean, that was a cool, as an epilogue, like it was a little bit of shameless uh, teasing once again, but I was okay with it because I I appreciated that. I was like, all right, that's over. Here's the epilogue. Well, for me, who was like never, I didn't know about any of that. Like, (laughs) I was just like, what is happening? I didn't know any of these guys. You know, like half the the heroes or anything either. I don't know. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, and just like seeing... You know, even Joker there, like, what the heck? Like, I even, t- I totally even forgot that Joker was a thing. I was like, yeah, yeah, dude. I was waiting for that the whole time. I was like, dude, we saw Joker in the trailer. That's why I thought for sure the Flash was going to go accidentally to the future. And this is what it was going to be. And he was going to be like, oh my gosh. Ah, that's true. For some reason, I thought it was like the Flash was only kind of warning Batman about that one particular movie or something. But apparently not. Apparently, <laughs> maybe not the entire it's thing. Bigger. Like it's big, dude. I would love to see. I mean, look, the fans made the Snyder cut happen. The fans could make Rude. the Snyder verse happen. I'm just saying, but yeah, I don't know. Overall, closing thoughts, closing opinion on the movie. I think, I think it was a very unique, like movie, just because of how long it is, and just. Like the, I don't know, the feel of it. It just felt really cool to follow all these characters, you know, and see yeah. the differences. Like, I just loved it. It felt like an experience. Like, I, I don't yeah. even want to judge it as a movie. Like, it reminds me of when I went to see Endgame in theaters or different things like that where it, this sounds so cheesy, but if you're a movie fan, you'll get it. Like, it it almost transcended a movie experience. Like, it feels like something different than a movie. It was yeah, just like this, this event that happened and it was cool and it was awesome and it was really well done and it was so much... Like a million times better than than the original Justice League, and I, to be fair, you know a lot of people kind of shit on the director, the the second director mm-hmm. that came in. I don't think that's fair. I think if you've ever directed anything, I think this 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 movie was just such a production hell, and it's unfair that you know Zack Snyder didn't get to get his vision until now. But I also think it's unfair to like take another director and then throw him in the mm-hmm. middle of someone yeah, else's vision and be like, clean it up. And so it's like, I, I don't think he's a bad director. The director who who fucked this movie over, supposedly, is the same guy who made the first Avengers, which is an amazing movie. So, you know, I mean, look, this is just my personal thoughts, but I don't know how personally he is to blame. If any, if you're going to blame anyone, I would blame more like Warner Brothers and just, you know, production hell. Like, I don't think it was really anyone's fault. 
But yeah, then on the but, positive end, I am happy that we got to see, you know, Zach's the vision. vision. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And, you know, of course, you can't really, I mean, regardless of what we say, you know, of course, people are going to blame no matter what. Yeah. It's just kind of a thing. And you got to take it with a grain of salt. I don't know what to say. No. That's yeah. what happens. But, yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised, like, that this even came to be a thing. Dude, you know, it's, the way it's that you amazing. were saying it, it was like, oh, you know. The Zack Snyder cut, yeah, joke, joke, you know. And to then be now honest, it's like, oh. I don't think it existed. I think they made it happen, but I don't think it existed. But the, even that Which is, is insane. insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like almost a meme. It's I wish I fucking... heard about this meme. It's like, <laughs> I would be like, oh, it's here. Dude, I didn't even <laughs> freaking, I was like, no, fuck off. The Snyder cut, like, get out of here. The freaking HBO Max. Well, the first thing we're going to be releasing is the Snyder cut. We're like, oh my gosh. Hey, it's insane. So it was great. You know, Zack Snyder, not that you're watching this video, but well done. That was an awesome movie. I I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. This was an experience of a lifetime, not going to lie. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to watch, I always say watch the full experience, you know, go check out the Patreon. We obviously do appreciate the support. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.